Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Today, I'm going to be going over this amazing program called Notion. Also, for anyone who doesn't know, I always have the timestamps linked in the description below so that you can forward to the part that you would like to see. I'm sure you also saw the title of this video, which says I have a free template. Yes, it's true, and it's down in my description if you're interested in using the template I made for my courses. Without further ado, let's get into this video. What is Notion? Notion is an extremely versatile workspace. Not only can you use it for school, but you can also use it for planning, organizing, and creating. Not to mention, this is free for all students. Use your student email and sign up and enjoy the premium features for free. You can choose from a variety of templates that they have included. When I say variety, I mean a variety. Just, just look at this. And one of the best parts, it syncs perfectly across all my devices, my phone, my iPad, and my laptop included. How do I use Notion as a student? Well, let's start off with the way I organize my courses and semesters. For each semester, I add on to the drop-down menu in the top left corner. Then for each course, I make its own page completed with the things that I have embedded in that page. To start off, for each course, I have the overall course page. This is a recurring element for all of my courses. The overall course page gives me an idea of what is coming up next, what I still have yet to do, and basically the idea of the course in total. In this page, I have my course outline and syllabus embedded. This is convenient because I can always refer back to it and look at the grading schemes for anything that is important. Next, I have the course content in a table format. Since my professor gave the entire course schedule in her course outline, I was able to make this table beforehand. In this, I have the week number that I customized to make a gradual rainbow. I have the lectures and readings that I have to do. I have a little checkbox so I can know whether it is still pending or done. I have the date it was completed or the due date. Then I have my grades calculator, which I will detail further into this video. So now you may be wondering, how did she make all of this? And here's the answer. In Notion, when you press the forward slash button, it opens up a list of features that you can embed into the page you're making. That's it. For anyone who doesn't want to use my template and wants to learn how to make their own, here's how to build it from scratch. First, name your page. Next, this is optional. Add an icon and a cover to make it suit your needs and to remind you of what the course is about. This is actually really fun for me. Now, press the forward slash and type heading 2. For short, you can type H2 and it will still show up and then hit enter. Next, name the heading. Next, hit enter and press the forward slash and type PDF. This will allow you to embed the PDF of your course outline here. Now here's a quick list of other features in Notion that you can explore and customize your workspace with. I highly encourage you guys to try them out for yourself to see which ones suit your needs. Just play with Notion a bit and I'm sure you'll like it just as much as I do. Now, on to making the table. Type forward slash and then type table. There will be two options. One is table inline, which is what you want and which is what I used. And the other is table full page. By using table full page, it will make another sub page and you'll have a table on your own, on its own space. By typing table inline, you will have your table in the overall course page. Next, change the properties of the table to make it customized to your needs. So now I'm gonna go in and edit each of the properties. The one that says tags, I'm gonna change it to the tool that says select. Select just means I can choose from a drop-down menu in the future, which you will see in the template once you get to explore it yourself. 
As for the name option, I'm going to rename it Lectures, Reading, and Assignments, and this is where I will attach my other subpages that I will make in the future. As for the dates and due dates, I will change it to the option that says date to make it a calendar format in the future later on. For the one that says column, I'm changing it to number to make my grades calculator that doesn't have a formula in yet, but I'll teach you how to do that near the end of this video. Now as you can see over here, I'm just going to make my own drop down menu for the weeks category. What you do is type in the name of your heading and then you can just press enter and edit the colors using the three little dots on the right. Next I'm going to put in my lecture names. So L1, L2 and L3 signifies lecture 1, 2 and 3. After this I'm putting in some dates. And with this, I can add a view and make it a calendar view so I can see what's due in the next few weeks or months. Okay, so now you know how I make the templates that I use. You may be wondering, how do I format my lectures? Okay, so this is the fun part. Here are some of my lectures and how I format them during lecture. In Notion, there's this feature where you can make a subpage out of almost anything. So what I would do is I would hover my mouse over the title of one of my lectures, then two arrows will pop up, allowing me to make a subpage. In this, I can also format and add tables, icons, and covers, etc. as needed. My prof also divides each lecture into three parts, so each part gets a new heading and a divider in my notes. Here's how I make those. Press forward slash, type H1, and then hit enter. For the divider, forward slash, type div, enter. Okay, so now that my headings are done, I will make smaller headings using heading 3. These separate my lectures into distinct categories and I will make these headings as my prof delivers her lecture. Next, to add in quotes and make them stand out, type forward slash, quote, and then hit enter. This way, when you are scrolling through your notes, it can stand out better. For an important point that your prof highlights in the lecture, or wants you to remember, type forward slash, call out, enter. You can also change the emoji. My favorite part of Notion is the toggle list. Type forward slash, toggle, and then hit enter. With this, I can type my main point and then put further bullet points underneath it, and then hide them later on. I mainly use this for questions that my prof asks during class, and then I write my answer below. You can also use this for active recall, and write down questions from the lecture and type the answer underneath. Now here's a great feature. If you want to go back and change the way something is written, like changing a call out to a quote instead, here's what you do. Click on the side buttons here, click turn into, and then choose what you would like to change it to instead. The same side buttons you can use to change the color of your notes. For me, I highlight the themes of literary works as yellow. I highlight my definitions as blue and bold the word. This can change for every course, so make it personalized to what your preference is. I also change the orientation and placement of my notes by dragging and dropping. If I want something to be side by side, I would take the notes by the side buttons and bring it over to the side I want it to be on and let go. These are all elements of Notion that I use in lecture. The forward slash has it all and it's very easy to change things around afterwards too. So don't ever stress about what your notes look like right away because you can change them. For final points, I would also like to say that you can embed a PDF of your written notes in the subpages if you don't want to use Notion for typing. For example, for my written notes, I would make it a PDF and then send it to my laptop and embed into Notion. Of course, I can embed into Notion straight from my iPad right away too, since it does sync across all devices. You can also change the font sizing and other features by doing this.
So as promised, here is how my grade calculator works and why I use it. Now in university, your grades will always be given to you, but they won't be your weighted grades, unless your university is super amazing. Meaning, you could have gotten 100% on an assignment worth 10% of your grade, and a 90 on an assignment worth 30% of your grade. In this case, the 90% you got is worth a lot more in the calculation of your total grade. To truly have an understanding of how you're doing in the course, it's much better if you use this grades calculator in Notion to write down what the weightage of that mark is, the mark itself, and it will do the math for you. This is extremely important to me. A lot of times, I have been blinded by estimating what my grade will be. This is not efficient, nor is it accurate. With my weighted grades calculator, I will always know where I have yet to improve and what I'm already doing well in. Additionally, at the end of the course, knowing what the exam is worth and how much you already have in the course, you can calculate the mark you need on the exam to achieve your desired outcome. That's it for today everyone, please let me know if this video was helpful and if you want more Notion videos in the future. See you!